<clears throat> Hello, my name is Maxwell Croson, and welcome to my personal review of Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Spider-Verse was probably, honestly, one of the most fun movies to watch in 2018. It, they just did a very good job of using very unique editing elements and different stuff that I haven't seen personally used in movies before to make it a very enjoyable watch. Uh, summary of the plot is kind of so, this is how it goes, is uh, the main character of the movie is Miles Morales. He's kind of like a middle school age boy and he's bitten by some sort of interdimensional spider. And he eventually meets up with a bunch of other interdimensional spider people and they all kind of gang together to stop the big bad guy who is Kingpin, who's trying to bring his family back, which also requires kind of opening up this interdimensional portal, which you don't really know why the interdimensional portal is going to like destroy everything, or, but you know why he's trying to get his family back. I felt like the story to Spider-Verse was relatively kind of cookie cutter hero's journey. Uh, with the main conflict kind of being resolved at the end of, this, end of the movie and nothing really majorly groundbreaking as far as storytelling is concerned. Um, but the thing I really wanted to focus on Spider-Verse was the appearance of the movie and the usage of color and the, and the effects and all that. And uh, every single character in the movie kind of had their own uh, distinct color and style. Uh, I wanted to kind of focus the, uh, first focus specifically on Spider-Man Noir. Noir is a character who's supposed to be uh, a representation of Spider-Man from kind of the 1930s, something like that, and he's depicted entirely in black and white. So when in the movie, uh, when you're first introduced to him, he's in hanging in the darkness of the the rafters uh, in Spider-Man's secret base, and who else uh, better to voice a person from the 1930s, kind of dark and brooding? other than Nicolas Cage, of course. This, uh, all of the colors that Noir says he, no, all, Noir can also only see in black and white, and uh, all of his, the colors around him are kind of representative of the dimension that he uh, is from. <clears throat> uh, another character whose colors are very uh, kind of representative of them is Spider-Gwen, so whenever uh, you go into kind of like a flat, one of her flashbacks in the movies, the, the colors in her dimension are more so purple, I guess, versus normal colors um, in the normal dimension that Miles is in. The animators uh, in the movie did a very, very good job kind of just portraying the onset of Miles' uh, spider powers uh, through the use of editing styles. I like how they drew a lot of influence from comic books, kind of adding the classic squiggly lines above Miles' head, kind of show that he has the spider sense. And also, there was a point in the movie where they kind of displayed what Miles' spider sense was seeing, or spider sense was feeling, uh, by putting the words watch out on a window to kind of show that his spider sense was, was talking to him. The animators consistently go back to the roots of the Spider-Man comic book and implement more uh, comic elements into the movie. Throughout the movie, there's different plot points where they put comic frames uh, into the scene. Another unique thing that Spider-Verse did is they frequently switched up the animation styles uh, and the different spider people had kind of different animation styles like uh, Peter Porker, his name is, was all in 2D. Overall, I, I give this movie a five bags of popcorn. It was a really uh, good movie to see. I recommend you to take your kids and your family, everybody you know, to come see this movie. It's really good. Um, yeah.